Here we go. I'm pulling this string. I'm pulling. I'm pulling this string. I'm pulling. I'm pulling these strings on this guitar. Right. If this is out of tune, then we're severely. Hi, my name is Mark. And welcome to the Gak Show. And today we are looking at Armitage Shanks and the quality he has developed over the years of porcelains. Uh, we're looking at um, we're looking at, well we're kind we're, of la, 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 we're doing la, la, la. a versus today. We're kind of doing a versus, but I mean, I wanted to take a look. Basically, the deal is the ESP asked us to check out. Um, these, some ESP guitars. <laughs> Am I holy now? Um, ESP asked us to check out some guitars. And I thought, what a better, what, blah, blah, what better opportunity to check out some ESP guitars, but also uh, two guns, one human. Can't really do that. Birds, one stone. Two birds, one stone. Um, check out the Evertune bridge as well. Yeah, and look at whether it's actually any good. Yeah, well, I mean, it's been out for a long time now. Yep. It clearly is an amazing piece of equipment. Because there's been other things on the market fixed on other guitars that help you tune that haven't been as successful. Mm. I know exactly Not what you're talking about. No, I know exactly what you're talking about. Um. <laughs> I first saw it, I was like, mm. It's a hefty lump, mate. It's a big, it's a big change to your guitar. But the question I would have, <sighs> not that these type of guitars are my thing, but the question is, is this bridge better than that bridge? Yeah. So, um, ups and downs of it. This is the Evertune bridge, by the way, guys. So, uh, so explain, what, before, explain what the Evertune bridge is. The Evertune bridge, as stated in the name, is a bridge that keeps your strings in tune, your guitar in tune forever. And who's, who plays one? There's some dude. Multiple. Uh, we actually shot. Uh, actually sucked. We actually shot a video with Andy James recently, and he had an Evertune bridge on his guitar. And he likes it. Well, it's his signature guitar. So if he didn't, it'd be a bit of a stupid thing to do, wouldn't it? So Mark? The, the, the point is that they they're good. Yeah, the point is that they're good. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we, I mean, okay. But benefits. It tunes the guitar. So the main benefit from what I can take hold of is. Um, uh, touring musicians, literally, you can take one guitar out with you. Yeah, it if be you, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you wanted to, I mean, Nick Johnston doesn't have a an Evertune bridge, and he <clears> only <throat> takes one guitar out on tour with him. Easy job <gasps> for a roadie, right? Oh my god, I keep hitting guitar tech on tour. Yeah, exactly. But so basically, you can set it up two ways. You can set it up um, in in the studio for recording. It's indispensable yeah. because you literally, oh, I have an idea. My guitar's out of tune. What? I, just, blah blah blah. With this, you pick it up, you put it on. 
the guitar is in tune, right? Yeah. This is just fresh out of the box, this guitar, and... <laughs> The guitar is perfectly in tune and the other main thing about it is it's perfectly intonated as well. So when you do things like that... You hear how perfectly that's ringing out? Yeah. It's perfectly in tune. Yeah. So the guitar is in tune and it's perfectly intonated. Um, so for a recording musician, it's kind of indispensable because you get to f fire in, there's no stopping to retune and all that sort of stuff or tune up or anything like that. So and once it's set, once it's set, when you change the strings, you don't have to reset it or anything. Even when you restring it, yeah. you don't have to reset it. Yeah. It's just set. So for example, I'm going out on a limb here. Yeah. Is it a are whim gonna, or a limb? You're going to pull strings. Is it going out on a limb or going out on a whim? A limb. I'm going out on a limb here. A limb? I'm going, I'm going to lose a limb here. <laughs> I'm you, not. Are you going to pull them? Right? I'm pulling this string. I'm pulling, right. I'm pulling this string. I don't like it. I'm pulling. I don't like it. I'm pulling these strings on this guitar. Right. If this is out of tune, then we're severely. <laughs> Perfectly you gave them some pulls. Well, uh, if you didn't see, I was actually holding onto the strings like this. Yeah. Um, okay, the B-stock. Okay, the question I have, why doesn't every guitar manufacturer have one? Because, um, because it's, it's a third party piece of equipment anyway. So it's not like, uh, it's like Floyd Rose. You mount it if you want it or not. But it's a massive, it's first off, these two guitars are basically exactly the same, right? Yeah. Um, with the Evertune system on it, this comes in at about 699, something like that. Seven, and four, how, how much is this? It's like 800 and something pound, oh, right? It's over a grand. Is it? Okay. So, so the it's more money. It's more money. It's a lot more money just to add the Evertune to it. Yeah, but... But also, it's if you want it. Have you seen the amount of, like, also, you see this, like a trem, all of that back bit that you see there, the entire section, the body's been carved out. So if you want the guitar with an Evertune on it, say you've got a PRS, say you've got a Strat, say you've got this, and you want the Evertune on it, that whole section where you see this, this back bit, has to be carved out. No, I get that, but why wouldn't... Meow. Like, why wouldn't Fender make some and whack them on and... Uh, I mean, once again, Fender... Well, I mean, or Gibson, Fender, or like, why... Well, they're all very classic, classic instruments, aren't they? So like Les Paul, Strats and all that sort of stuff. But you can put them on there, obviously, if but you want to. But do you to. think it's... So a... people are doing it instead of companies doing it. Because yeah. you have to have the choice. But why aren't companies doing it? Do you think there's some Well, they are. Of... ESP, you have... there you go, that... look. Do you think it's that snobbery of like, oh, we don't want to ruin the traditional Les Paul by putting a modern feature on it? 100%. Well, not a modern feature, but just something that you have to well, it's really... it's quite a modern feature. It's a modern feature, but I mean in terms of actually completely changing the characteristics of your guitar. Like the reson like how it resonates, the tone of the guitar is going to change because you're now going through this whole balancing system. It equals itself out so that when you pull a string, that that comes forward and the others move back so that it sorts itself out so it stays in tune, all of that sort of stuff. So you're completely compromising, not the integrity, but you're completely compromising what you know that guitar to be. And I guess some people like a little bit out. They like that off kind of, you know, I'm not saying play out of tune, but they like that kind of raw, uh, yeah, I mean, slightly off, you know. There's, I, I'm not gonna, I mean. I mean, how, how, how spot on tune is that in terms of? I mean, we tuned, it, we checked, but I checked before on my phone. I mean, it's a phone, but. It's pretty. It's pretty much there. Yeah. You know what I mean, like bang on. I wonder how bang on. Sounds like that acoustic.
Like all, all things we talk about, it's gonna it's my mind. It's gonna be something. Well, the thing bad, is, that's the bad. problem with like the comments section on videos is that everybody likes to say exactly what they think, which subjective, is one hundred percent fine, but it's subjective. I don't want an ever tune on my guitar. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Andy James does. Mm. Like, what's the difference between the two of us? Nothing apart from the I don't want one and he wants one. Why don't you want one? Because I don't like the way it looks and it makes the guitars quite heavy as well. But in terms of like recording and gigging and stuff, it's it's like amazing. But I wouldn't want to stick it on my, I wouldn't want to stick it on any of my custom made instruments because I don't know, I love them too much and the thought of having some massive but Again, it's, it's that thought, isn't it? It's that yeah. kind of like, Oh, you don't want to ruin that traditional... Yeah, but it's hard because... It's like turning your, your, your car into an electric car. My God, yes. My it's like God. having an electric Ferrari. Like, why would you do that? Or an electric Harley. No, they've done one. Have they? Yeah. <laughs> And you didn't want that. That messed you, you well, exactly, But that's what I'm saying. Like you wouldn't, you wouldn't want. I wouldn't want an electric Harley because no. I'd want to go down the road. Because you hate the environment. Yeah, exactly. And I want a gas guzzler. <laughs> I want to destroy the planet. Um, no, I want. Um, yeah, no, you've put it. You've put it. You've hit the nail bang on the head. Basically, I want a Harley Davidson because I want it to be really loud and I want it to look really cool, right? Yeah. So it's exactly the same as picking up my. Telecaster. Yeah. I want it to twang and I want it to look like a Telecaster. Do you know what I mean? This sounds like this, but looks completely different because of that chunk of black metal there. And I don't want that, but some people do. Yeah. Hence the subjectiveness of the entire music world. Well, the entire world. The entire world. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like Forrest Gump as a movie? Yeah, someone will go, no. Idiots. Yeah, yeah, idiots I mean, will go, no. There he is. What? Look, look he at doesn't that. like Forrest Gump. Look at that idiot down there. Do you like Tom, Tom Hanks? <laughs> Wilson! That's Castaway, mate. I know. So, but what is this Evertune mounted to, you say? Um, this is the ESP EC1000 QM. It's got a QL maple top. It's got a quilt maple top, and that's got a flame maple top. Indeedy. Uh, you can also get the obviously the hardtail version with the quilt maple top as well. Uh, Seymour Duncan's three-way selector switch, uh, volume, volume, tone, um, and then you've got uh, a ro an ebony fretboard, twenty-four extra Molasses. jumbo frets. Molasses. Ebony. Molasses. On no, this it's Macassus. It's not molasses. That's something you eat. It's like honey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Macassus. <laughs> like a glove. Um, uh, so yeah, Macassus ebony fretboard. Neck. Um, Isn't it a three-piece? It'd definitely be, it'd be a mahogany. Oh, three yeah, it's this mahogany. is three piece. Yeah, uh, it's a mahogany neck. Lock no tuners. locking tuners because of the ever tune, the but locking tuners on the hardtail version. It's a tunematic style bridge. Um, we've got an insanely large collection of ESP guitars. Uh, these are Korean models. We do have some USA models in stock as well. Is that? This coil. doesn't have a coil tap no. on it. That do you one know does. what? Like for me, I'm, this isn't. You know, this is not my type of guitar at all. It's quite nice. Well, they play great. Yeah. Well, it's because it's, it's basically nice. an LP style guitar that plays like modern version of a Les Paul. Do you know what it reminds me of? Duncan's. It reminds me of the uh, Epiphone DCs. Yeah. I, and I don't know what, I think maybe it's a similar kind of look and weight. Um, I mean, there's a possibility. They've got a really lovely heel carve as well. Uh, so make sure you come into the store and check out some guitars with the Evertune on because we've got a majority of ESPs with the Evertune on. Is it just ESP? ESP e ES <laughs> BBC? Is it just ES ES <laughs> <laughs> ESPs? Is it just them that have the Evertune on? No, we've got a couple of other models. We've got some Ibanez guitars and stuff as well. But it is generally this kind of metal-y ones. So. Yeah, yeah, the majority of the time. <laughs>